Most of us will be marveling at the eclipse, but the historical event could also make some feel anxious. Our brains have a built-in alarm system called the amygdala. And when there is anything out of the ordinary in our environment, it clicks into hyperdrive and becomes aware of everything that is going on and triggers a fight or flight response, which may make you feel a little nervous. Dr. Susan Albers is a psychologist for the Cleveland Clinic. She says if you're feeling anxious, it's important to choose a safe and comfortable place to watch. Dr. Albers says calm is contagious, so if others around you are relaxed, you'll be more relaxed too. There are many people who are going to be in group environments, and this can often trigger a lot of anxiety or increase the emotional response. So be prepared if you are in a large group of people that there could be a heightened sense of emotion. Dr. Albers also says in all of the excitement, it can be easy to forget about safety, and we can't stress enough that you should not be looking at the sun unless you have proper eye protection. Solar retinopathy, or solar burn, happens when you stare up at the sun or the eclipse. The image goes through the cornea, which is the lens of your eye, and can become a cataract over time. Since the sun is such a bright light, it can burn your retina, causing blindness. You won't feel a sizzle, but if you see a spot or everything looks hazy or blurry for longer than one minute, you need to seek medical attention. And remember to join us tonight right after the Spurs game at 930 for a Ken's 5 special on the Great American Eclipse. We're breaking down everything you need to know to get ready for this astronomical event. Then stay tuned afterward for Ken's 5 News at 10.